Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Welcome to Laravel Basic Tutorial. In my last tutorial, I discussed about Laravel controllers. This is tutorial number 8. In this tutorial, I will discuss about Laravel Blade Template. Here I have started Apache server from exam control panel and I opened my project into Visual Studio Code Editor and before starting my work I am going to start my Laravel development server by using php artisan serve command I am opening the browser and going to localhost 8000 and I am going to create a new route route get and a controller last time i created a controller named test controller so this controller i am going to use it here test ctrl and i am going to use the test method that i created into test controller and within this controller i am pointing a view test one dot php so this is the test one dot php file here I am echoing out hello Laravel and one line horizontal line so let us see the result this is the expected result okay now I am going to create some variable into controller file and I will pass this variable to my view file first of all I am going to create a variable named my name and then I am going to create another variable named age and then i'm going to create an array my score so 75 65 85 95 okay and i'm going to pass these values name dollar my name and is dollar is and print the value instead of showing this i'm going to show dollar name let me test yes name is coming okay so what we are doing here we we have written the route here and we are pointing to test controller test controller is here so from the test controller uh, we are pointing to a, a view through the view met method we are pointing a test one dot uh, php file and this is here and here we are telling to show this variable and this variable is the value is coming of this variable from this controller file okay now i am going to show the age value through some control structure if control structure like if age greater than equal to 25 then echo h1 dollar is and h1 closing bracket and a line break obviously and i'm writing here your age is okay and i'm writing else not okay 25 okay and i'm going to see the result your age is 25 okay if i change uh, if i change the value then it will come okay now i want to pass the my score variable by with method score dollar my score okay and i want to show this value by for each loop score as score one and i'm copying this line here score one and I'm getting the result but before that I am giving some line break miss some horizontal line okay okay and I'm writing another for loop and I'm putting five and echoing out the loop result okay so this is very normal php syntax that we usually use and we used before in our previous tutorials but now if i want to use the blade template that 
I talked about earlier, I need to create a blade template first. So within the view folder, resource and view uh, folder, I am going to create a new file called test1.blade.php and I am going to uh, rename this for better understanding. Okay, so from my controller, I am pointing the uh, test1 file and this test1 file will point to test1.blade.php file, not this file. Okay, now I am going to put some HTML and I am writing h1 hello Laravel. So if I browse right now, so my controller will point test1.blade.php where I have only this h1 tag and it is showing that thing into the browser. Now if I copy entire things and paste it here, I am getting this result here. Okay, but I want to show how to use the blade template properly and how the blade template makes our life so easy about writing the PHP code. The first thing I am going to put here, if I want to show this these values here, so I will write, I will copy this thing and paste it here and in blade syntax I need not to have echo command and I need not to have any punctuation only I can write the variable name with the double curly braces I'm going to cut it here and I'm showing the variable is showing and oh echo is coming from here so and the exact same result like this I'm getting with the blood syntax this is coming from the conventional PHP coding and this is coming from the blood syntax okay now if I want to paste this thing into blade so I need to put at sign sorry I need to put at sign here and here and if and also here and I don't need any curly braces anymore and instead of using echo and this I'll simply use the blade syntax and also I don't need any concatenation instead I will use double curly braces and I'm going to use another horizontal line break here okay now if I go to the browser so I am getting the result okay now I'm going to show another structure that is another loop if I show this first or okay I am using this first for using for each loop I need to use this and and for each and I don't need this anymore and this okay so this is very clean structure okay if this is the score that I am going to show you from my template test one plate dot php template by using for each loop so it is going out following the blade syntax and now I am going to show you the I have here the structure for for loops and to use that I need to add at sign and I also need to add at end for and I don't need this curly braces and also I don't need this and these structures are so clean and very straightforward so you see the output by using the blade syntax so the same thing the variable name and by using the control structure if else and if and by using the for each loop and the for loop we are getting the result as we got it conventional by following the conventional php syntax but if you just compare this syntax and with this syntax this syntax is so clean and so neat so we must follow the blood syntax while uh, writing our php application okay so i am going to delete this because i am getting the same functionality from here and it is very easy to write down the html code here along with the blade syntax so one more time i can refresh the browser 
and I am getting the variable and other expected result by using the blade syntax. I don't need this. So it is very much clean and very much easy to understand. I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. If you have any question or comments, please leave it into the comment section. I would like to give you thanks for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.